All right. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Deja Riley, and you're listening to Dose of Duality, the podcast. It's a podcast where we dive into deep conversation, cultivating a sense of community around the state of coexistence. Oh my goodness. I'm finally here. I am quite nervous actually, um, but radiating with so much joy and so much gratitude. Um, as I was walking into the studio today, I was feeling that cool, crisp air of NYC. I got to wear a light jacket. It's feeling like a wonderful, winter day and I am happy and also at the same time sad. And I think that's part of the reason why we're sitting here. You know, as I talk about being a little bit nervous and hearing some voices in my head that point to imposter syndrome telling me I can't do this, I'm not ready for this, I don't have everything that I need to be able to do this. I still have decided to dive in head first and really ignore the fear and embrace all of the wonderful, exciting possibilities that could be ahead for me in doing this. You know, I was most nervous about sitting on this couch all by myself. And then I remembered that I'm not alone because you're here. We're sitting here having this conversation together and we'll have many more ahead of us. And that truly lights my soul on fire. Now, who is Deja? Well, first of all, I'll give you my full government. It's Dejanae Riley Isidorechek. And my maiden name is Dejanae DeReal Riley, but I got Isidorechek from my lovely husband, Jimmy. We'll get into him a little bit later. But first, I want to let you know who I am. I am joy. I am love. I am a source of inspiration. I'm a motivator, an activator, a pillar of hope. I am light in motion, and I am enough. You know, so often our energy introduces us before we ever do. When we step into a room, when we enter into a new relationship, when people talk about us, it's all about energy. And the world may see something completely different with all the labels that are placed on you. But I like to introduce myself just as I did. Now, in terms of what the world sees, well, many may know me as a former dancer who's danced for the likes of Beyonce, Lady Gaga, J-Lo, Nicki Minaj, Trey Songs, and the list goes on and on and on. Others may know me as a Lululemon global ambassador, a Lululemon studio trainer, a fitness guru, so to speak. And then there are those that know me as Teddy Riley's daughter, a lover of music, a creative, and a true artist. But I choose not to be defined by any of those things because I am who I am. And also, if any of those titles were to ever drop, I would still just be me. Now, I was born in New York, Westchester to be exact, New Rochelle, and I was raised in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Virginia is my home, and I enjoyed so much about my childhood. You know, my parents raised me to live a life of creativity. And as I begin to create this new show, I know that it truly all starts there. Donna Marie de Guzman is my mother, a true fighter. And Teddy Riley, I won't give you his full government, you're gonna have to Google that or Wikipedia, <laughs> but that's my father. And I'm so blessed to have those two beautiful humans to call my parents. Their DNA is running through my veins and I would not be who I am or where I am or even here on this earth without them. 
So first, mom and dad, I love you and thank you. <laughs> now, uh, my dad is probably the parent that you're most familiar with. And I get so much of my work ethic, my creativity, my enjoyment of life, um, my decisions to just always be on to the next adventure from him. And then from my mom, I am the lover and the fighter. I get so much of that from her. And trust me, Donna's got a lot of fight in her. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But for now, I'm just grateful that they brought me to this planet and that I get to do life with so many beautiful people because of them. Now, my journey is interesting. My journey is full and I am complex. I am a person who really enjoys being in community. Another reason why I'm sitting here on this couch today and I value relationships. I value the coexistence of all of the emotions that exist within me and within others. It makes me quite curious. And that's why I wanna sit here and bring some people from my village, from my tribe, and also people that I don't even know yet onto this show to share their idea of duality with all of you. Now, how did we get here? Well, truthfully, I began podcasting with one of my best friends in the entire world. It is interesting that I'm now sitting here in this moment and thinking of her, though we have some space and distance between us and our fr friendship is now in a fragile state. I even stumble over my words as I say that because I'm having a hard time embracing it, but it's my truth and it's a part of my story. and. We created this podcast called Do Everything With Love. And I want to continue that mantra. I want to continue living out that mantra. And I know she does too. And so if you're listening, Jen, I love you. Sending you so much love from this space. And I know you are off to do amazing things as well. Now, being here in this moment and being here up on this couch by myself I recognize one of my other true values is sweet solitude. I sit and think by myself a lot. I meditate with myself. I even take myself out on dates from time to time. Now I am married, but it's important to both of us that we really embrace our independence, even in this midst of a, of a dual journey, right? And two truths can always exist at once. I'm going to get back to that part. But part of what led me here too is the simultaneous highs and lows of life. I have been in some of the highest highs in this past year, and I have hit some of those rock bottom lowest lows. And sometimes they've existed at the exact same time. So many of those things involve my husband, involve my other relationships, but most of all, they exist within me. You know, I love my job and I love what I do. And as a lover of fitness, there's been moments where like the endorphins are flowing through my body and I feel so good. But behind the curtain, I'm grieving. I am really ruminating and trying to understand myself better. I'm on a healing journey that seems ever evolving and nonstop. Honestly, like I had my therapist tell me once that uh, I was going to be on this journey for life, this healing journey, this journey of growth. And at the sound of it, that really pissed me off. Like, why won't I get to this point, this pinnacle where like I am fully healed and there's just nothing else to work on and I can be sitting on a beach with a mimosa or a Jack and Coke or, you know, tilting my head back with my shades on and everything is just so blissful. But that's not reality. Reality is that we feel all the things, that it's healthy for us to continue to heal. It's healthy for us to continue to grow. And in all of that, we elevate from stage to stage, from chapter to cha chapter, from season to season. 
And that is truly a fulfilling life. That's really where all the joy comes from. Oftentimes people think that I'm always happy and I'm always up. And maybe some of the labels that are stamped on me really create that perspective for others. But I'm here to tell you, I am nowhere near perfect. Joy is not always here, but joy always lives in me. And, you know, that's an interesting thing to wrap your brain around, right? It's like joy can exist and you can be anxious. Joy can exist and you can also be sad or mad. And honestly, like it just keeps bringing me back to this idea of duality. And that's why I started this podcast. That's why I named it Dose of Duality. Now, the meaning of do- of duality, again, imperfection, right? <laughs> We're just keeping it raw. The meaning of duality is the instance of opposition or contrast with two concepts or more, two or more aspects, two or more emotions. It's really coexistence things happening at the same time in the same place. And there are so many examples of that out in the world and in each and every one of you. Now, as we sit here and talk about that contrast, most people go to two opposite ends of the spectrum. They go to like good and evil, high and low, sad and happy, right? But it's more than that. We are just these beautiful complex beings that at any given moment could be feeling all those things, one of those things here, one of those things there. Think about your day, right? You woke up this morning, thank God, and you started on your way and, you know, you cross paths with maybe a few people, maybe multiple people if you're living in New York City like me. And all of those people are feeling different things and you're feeling different things. And it's just this really exhilarating thought to know that everyone's feelings can be happening rapidly or maybe even slowly. And we can all exist here on this planet together. That's what duality is all about. Just that coexistence. And I keep coming back to that at every chapter of my life, especially in this chapter of my life. You know, some of you that may be following me may know a lot about my fertility journey or at least what I've chosen to share with you. That is definitely a journey of duality. It started out so beautiful where my husband and I, we decided to embark on this journey to parenthood for me to motherhood, something that I've always desired, but didn't know when I'd quite be ready for. And then my body just started telling me it's time to create life. And so we started out, you know, really excited about it, really enjoying this new level of romanticism that we were exploring in our relationship. And then all of a sudden it got dark when we were trying something, trying for something so hard and could not achieve it. You know, I'm a goal-oriented person. I'm very ambitious. And when I want something, I really, really go after it with all that I have. And this journey was something that was beyond my control. This journey has been one of my greatest teachers. And yeah, I'm still on it. I'm sitting before you today, still desiring to be a mother. And You know, through my four failed IUIs, through the beginning of this IVF journey, a hysteroscopy, multiple blood tests, and all that lied in between, I really, really am so grateful for the love, the support, the encouragement, the community, and ultimately the reward of becoming a new version of myself, a better version of myself. And that's all I'm really striving for. I think that's all we're really striving for as a people. We all want to be the best versions of ourselves, right? 
And in order to do that, we've got to embark on that journey of healing. We've got to open up the conversation. We've got to be honest with ourselves. And then we can be honest with others about who we truly are. Now, there are plenty of examples in the world, some that I share similarities with and some that I know nothing about. But I wanted to bring you into the space and open up the conversation for you to also get that dose of duality. Now, you can expect a whole lot of things on this show. I'm gonna have some co-hosts. I won't always be up here alone. I'm gonna have some beautiful guests, some really incredible, intellectual, soulful. Um, I'm thinking of some of my guests right now and it's really just really lighting me up inside because I know that they're gonna share their hearts with you in this space and we're gonna be vulnerable and raw and honest. That's something I can promise you. But will it be messy sometimes? Sure, that's what life is. You know, as I sit on this couch and maybe some other couches, maybe the set's gonna change every once in a while, we'll talk about love, we'll talk about grief, we'll talk about healing, we'll talk about social issues, we'll talk about identity, wellness, culture, relationships, and so much more. We're on this journey together and we're gonna let it unfold moment by moment, episode by episode. And you can expect a new episode every single week. So exciting that we're gonna get to be on this journey together and get to unveil so much truth together. And all I ask you is to come with an open mind, an open heart, and open up your soul to what could be, who you could be, who others can be all around you, and embrace the change that is to come, you know? I say in a lot of my classes all the time, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Well, I'm in a very challenging season of my life right now where I've experienced so much suffering and loss and grief, and at the same time, I've experienced so many accomplishments so much joy and I've had this uplifting that continues to take me to higher and higher levels. And I'm grateful for it all. I wouldn't change not a bit of it. I like to walk through this life with no regret. Sometimes that feels impossible, <laughs> but uh, I look back and I say, you know what? It taught me something. There's either a blessing or a lesson in it. And I'm here for every single bit. Now, when will you hear these episodes? Every Wednesday. But I'm living in impermanence, so maybe that'll change. Maybe we'll go into two episodes a week. Maybe we'll, you know, switch up the day, switch up the time. Maybe we'll get to talk a lot more often, and maybe I'll be coming to a city near you. I'm open to it. I want you to be open to that, too. What's in it for you? Well, you get to hear my lovely voice. <laughs> but you also just get to uh, be a mirror and you get to have a mirror, right? Because we can each see a little bit of ourselves in someone else. It's really what sparks change. It's what sparks courage. It's what instills hope into each and every one of us. We wouldn't want to be here on this earth alone. That would be so boring, right? But there are times where we need to embrace those moments alone, sit with the stillness, calm ourselves, find that true self-love and begin to really care for ourselves in a way that brings us to a new place and opens up a whole new chapter for us. This right here is a whole new chapter for me. And just as I stumbled over some words today, and I, you know, fumbled through all of the different things going on in my brain, because really, honestly, you're getting to come through a window opened up for all of you to come and see what's inside this wild brain of mine. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm just letting it all happen. I'm really sitting in everything that I am, 
and I'm ready to open up myself and open up my heart to everything that's ahead. You know, as I sit here on this couch, I'm reminded that I just did something that in the back of my mind I thought might be impossible. But it even has the word possible in it. The word impossible really holds the word possible. And I just proved it to myself. I did it. We're here at the tail end of this episode and I made it through. And that just really excites me. And it drives me to encourage you to embrace something that you thought might have been impossible. Know that within it, the word possible exists. And really, it's just taking one person, one thought, one idea to move it forward and strip that I am off of impossible and make it possible. You can do that. Yeah, you can. And my final, my final shares, my final thoughts, right? Well, one, my pet, my, my armpits are super sweaty right now. <laughs> and it usually happens when I get really nervous. Um, looking forward to patting those down after. Uh, today, I want to eat some pizza and drink some wine because I'm going to reward myself. That's typically something that I do after I've done something that I believe deserves some sense of celebration. You know, it goes back to like when we were in grade school and we had pizza parties. That pizza party is still rewarding for me. We've just like taken it up a notch. We've adultified it. And now it comes with wine, not just the pizza and soda or pizza and juice. It's like pizza and a little vino. So I'm going to have that a little later. I'm going to do some workouts. One of my favorite things to do is move my body. Um, What else? Ooh, on this show, I'm going to be revealing the soundtrack of my life. What is that, you may ask? It sounds so dramatic. <laughs> if you didn't know already, I I am dramatic. I am a drama kid. I came from the world of theater. And so here we are with the soundtrack of my life. Maybe I'll put some playlists together for you. That's something that I do in my, my spare time. I love that so much. But today, the song of my soul being added to the soundtrack of my life is Rose in the Dark. This is a song by Cleo Soul. And it's a song about transformation. It's a song about change. It's a song about healing. And all three of those things are in me right now. They are all things that I'm focused on, committed to, and determined to experience. And so as I listen to that chill track that I'm vibing to, Rose in the Dark, I can feel that. Also, Cleo Soul is just amazing. Maybe I'll have her on this podcast one day. But, uh... Go listen to that when you get a moment. And then I like to leave everyone with a quote. This is a practice that I started a long time ago, actually when I started as a fitness instructor at a little boutique gym in Santa Monica, California, where I taught cardio boxing. And I was really looking for what set me apart, right? What made me different than any other trainer Because the truth is, you being you is your superpower. It's what makes you unique. It's something that nobody else can do. Nobody else can do you the way that you do you. And so as I searched for that it thing, that X factor, that thing that was going to keep people coming back, it was this idea of motivation. And I really started to develop my voice as a trainer And that also uplifted my voice as a human being. And I started pulling inspiration from all of these people that I admired. And then I brought that element into my class and it made it so much more powerful. I would start and end my class with this quote or saying or idea or feeling that would really pull my audience in, my community in, a little closer to me. And so as I close out today, I think of the 
incredible, the sensational Carlos Santana. I'm doing an air guitar while I'm doing it because, you know, Carlos really gets in on those strings. And uh, I love that song, Maria. I think it's called Maria with like, who sings on that? Do we know who sings on that? Uh, I'm going to come back to that. Anyways, it's like the thoughts in my head and I'm just letting them roll off the tip of my tongue. But yeah, so I love Carlos Santana. And he said these beautiful and yet very simple words. Just as we have two eyes and two feet, duality is a part of life. And so when we think about that, right, we have two eyes. They're different. Whether we want to think that they're exactly the same or not. I went to an iridologist last year and she took pictures of both of my eyes and I actually got to see them like close up, like she put it under a microscope and like zoomed in, showed me all the veins in my eyes. It was really fascinating. And there were different veins in my eyes that told her different things about what was going on in my body. And um, I'm always curious about these new things. You know, I got really curious last year about acupuncture. And then I also got really curious about holistic medicine. And I've just been like dipping my toes in the water and finding all of these different things that interest me. I'm a water baby. I'm a Pisces. So, you know, you're always in flow. <laughs> um, but yeah, back to what I was talking about. In my eyes, like they were very different, right? And then I think about my two feet. And though they have a lot of similarities, they're beautiful. I love my feet. I also love the shoes that are on my feet. Shout out to Lululemon. These are the strong feels. I feel very, very, very strong today. Um, but Fun fact, one of my feet, and I should be able to tell you which one. Actually, you know what? I think it's my left foot because I have it up here right here. But there's like a little mole on the bottom of my foot that's been there since birth. And it really is what sets my left fart, my left fart. Wow. My left foot apart from my right. <laughs> We're really going to have some laughs here too. Honestly, I crack myself up. Uh, but yeah, that's what sets my left foot apart from my right. And then you think about all of your limbs, right? There's something a little bit different about each side of your body, each part of, you know, everything that is within you. If somebody was to dive deep inside of you and see your heart and see all of your internal organs, there would be slight differences about each side, right? You have two kidneys and you're like, one of them is different than the other. How can that be and live inside of me? Well, that is coexistence, right? That is duality. And that is what we're here for. And so my friends, beautiful humans of the world out there, <laughs> we have had quite the conversation. And uh, I welcome you all into community with me. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you for being here. And uh, as we dive into the deep end and the state of coexistence, I'll keep bringing you a dose of duality. I love you. See you next time. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode of Dose of Duality, the podcast, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share with others. <laughs> Thank you! Oh my gosh, that was wild. Honestly, I was like, am I talking in circles here? This is the way my brain works, and it's like, what is happening right now?